The Wishi Time Graphers are the natural choice for amateur watchmakers looking for a time grapher because in the world of timing machines, not only is it low cost, but you really need some way to be able to measure the amplitude and not just the rate and the beat error for your service work. Today, I'm going to be testing the accuracy of the Wishi 1900 which is the Chinese made version of the more expensive Swiss made witchy time grapher. And we're going to test it against my professional grade analyzer, which is calibrated to be accurate within one tenth of a second per day. To conduct the test, I'm going to be using a PT5000 movement, which is going to be wound at full power. And I'm going to test it for one minute on my Wishi 1900 and then test it again for one minute on the escapement analyzer. One minute will give the movement plenty of time to settle into that position, which will give us as accurate a measurement as possible. I'm also going to allow the movement to sit on the Wishi mic stand for 30 seconds before starting the first test. Okay, so Let's test the Wishi 1900 first. And now I'll move the movement to the escapement analyzer which is preset to run in this position for one minute. Now, looking at the results side by side, you can see that the Wishi 1900 is off by just over two seconds a day. The amplitude on the Wishi is showing 15 degrees lower than the actual amplitude, and it's showing the bead error to be slightly better than it actually is. So does this mean you shouldn't buy one? No, of course not. For the average home watchmaker, these machines are going to be fine. The rate being off a couple seconds per day doesn't really matter that much. I was a little surprised that the amplitude was off by 15 degrees, which should really tell you that you don't want to guess when you're putting in your lift angle because if your lift angle is off by just two degrees and the machine is off by another 15 degrees, that adds up to about a 25 degree difference, which isn't going to help you when you're trying to troubleshoot amplitude problems. Now, the difference in beat error is also not really a problem when it's this close to zero, but if you're on the high side of beat error, it could be hiding some potential issues. Look, if you don't have a time grapher yet and you're servicing watches, I'll leave the links in the description below for the Wishy time grapher that I have. Because as a new watchmaker, one thing that a time grapher does for you is that it tells you how good of a job you're doing on your service work. And when you learn how to use it properly, the time grapher will make you a better watchmaker. 